Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Erwin with Building A Media. Today we're going to be talking about what are the three lenses you should be getting after you buy your first camera. Hey everybody, welcome back. So on the last video we talked about which camera you should be getting as your first photography or videography camera. So um, I'm just going to go off of the fact that you guys got this sweet 80D. That's the one you guys got because you listened to the last video, right? Um, so anyways, let's talk about these lenses. Alright, so the first lens is the Canon 24mm uh, lens. I have it on here on my 80D. I keep it on here all the time. It's really, it's really lightweight. It's great, great picture quality. It's, it's awesome. Um, it's only like 150 bucks. I'll put a link to it down below, but I would say get this one first. And one of the reasons that some people don't really think about getting this lens first is because of the size. So I'll give you a quick example of when this kind of lens worked out for me um, when it comes to the size and weight. I bought a really crappy gimbal a couple years back and I bought it specifically for the Blackmagic um, pocket cinema camera, but it would not support the weight and this really isn't even that heavy. But I needed a lightweight lens to put on there. So with the adapter and with, this, with that lens, I was able to get some really good quality and that was the only lens that I could put on there that would work properly. So just think about the fact that there's going to be scenarios that happen where you're going to need a small lens to work for something specific. So anyways, get this lens. It's great for the money. It should be your first lens. It's awesome. I keep mine on there basically all the time. So second lens you should be getting next. This would be the Nifty 50. Everybody has it, talks about it. There are a million other videos that you can go and look up and people talk about it. I'll link to a couple of good videos below if you want more information specifically on this lens, but it really should be your first or second lens that you buy. There's a reason why it comes with the kit. Um, some videography kits come with like the 24 and the 50 or a wide angle on the 50. This one's usually in it. Um, and the reason is this is an amazing lens for the price and the quality. People use this mainly for a portrait photography. It's going to give you just some really, really good quality shots. It blurs the background really, really nice. If you're going to be getting into photography and doing portrait photography, I would recommend you get this like this should be the first lens you buy not even 24 just get this if you're going to be focusing more on portrait photography third lens we're moving right along here so a third lens is actually going to be some type of a wide angle lens i actually got the 10 to 18 canon lens which is a really really good lens uh, again i'll link to it down below i think it's in the 300 dollars range um, but i use it all the time anytime especially if you want to be getting into vlogging or anything where you're kind of filming yourself you need a nice wide angle lens that's going to be the lens that you're going to be getting first i mean you can get something else of course but that is a very good lens to start out with um, good for landscapes as well um, it's it's a very good quality lens and it's not going to break the bank so frank actually has that lens i don't have it here but i got the 11 to 16 tokina which is a really good lens uh, this lens is a little bit more expensive than the 10 to 18 i think it's really in the four to 400 to 450 range um, i'll link to it as well but one of the main reasons why i got this was specifically for my black magic um, this is a little bit faster and light i think it's a 2.8 yep and it's very very good i needed something that gave me a really wide angle but also was a little bit faster than that canon um, so i got this lens the only my biggest complaint about this versus the canon is it's a little bit louder uh, the motors are loud or something it's just it just it, it, it just sounds very very loud when it's adjusting um, and the canon is definitely quieter but it's not that big of a deal i'm happy with this lens i would still get this lens because it's a little bit faster and that matters uh, and um, especially when it comes to black magic so that's why i got this one okay guys that pretty much does it the 24 the 50 and a wide angle of some sort that being the 10 to 18 or this tokina 11 to 16 either one will do i hope you liked this video i hope i was able to help you out please leave a, a like down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and uh keep paying attention because we're going to be producing more content all right i'll see you guys in the next one